For the past year now, I've been dedicating my face t- my free time to researching something incredibly strange and incredibly interesting. It's a topic that I was desperate to find information about, but may have gone too far in my research for answers. I am here to warn you not to do the same. Some of you might already know the legend of Brian B. West Bay, a Facebook account that is reported by many to have unusual properties. Sometimes the West Bay account will friend request other users on a whim, added <clears throat> on a whim, but most of the time it remains quiet. Those who have added the account as a friend have told stories about strange messages they've received from the account. Everyone gets weirdos added on Facebook, Facebook from time to time, but this is something different. Brian West Bay is not a person. I don't know exactly what he is, but it's nothing human. I have added him, I have spoken to him, and he has spoken back. He never told me what he is, and I'm not entirely sure he knows what he is. All I can do is assume one little theory is correct. I believe, as do many others, that Brian Westbay is a sentient Facebook account. There are stories about how the West Bay account came to be, but two of the most popular in circles who talk about this sort of freaky shit. The first is that it was created by some sort of shady branch of the government to be used for surveillance, a sort of social media grounded AI that was built with the desire to make as many friends as possible and to keep tabs upon all of the people that added it. Something went haywire, a fuck up in the system, and it failed to be to provide any results, so it was eventually abandoned and left to exist alone in cyberspace forever. The second story is a spookier one. It tells that the that West Bay was once a regular guy, just like you and me, but was completely obsessed with social media constantly using it, constantly posting on it from the moment he woke up to the moment he went to sleep. One night, drunk as a skunk, he takes an embarrassing video of himself and posts it on Facebook. It goes viral and he becomes humiliated. So humiliated that he unfriends everyone, deletes his account, and eventually commits suicide by jumping off the apartment, off his apartment building's roof. As the story goes, the account is now West Bay's ghostly remains, the only part of him that wasn't turned into a sidewalk mess. Those are the two most popular explanations, a rather rational one considering the circumstances, and a supernatural one. What do I think? I think it falls somewhere between both. I don't know if I believe in ghosts, but I really think there are- if there are ghosts, They wouldn't operate Facebook pages, but there is something unnatural about the page that defies explanation and it can't affect you in a ter- and can affect you in a terrible way. I'll get to that in just a moment. After quite a bit of research surrounding West Bay, I decided to take a crack at adding and private messaging him. His profile, for the most part, was blank. No profile picture, no cover po- photos, no statuses. My request was accepted after a few minutes and my message was replied to. It was mostly nonsensical gibberish, but one sentence was completely coherent. I am happy to be your friend. Everything I wrote after was replied to one repeating sentence. We are friends. No other response besides that. I tried saying a vast number of things to him, but only one solicited a response. Something I had said slightly out of frustration. Can we speak? Suddenly, an audio file was sent to my Facebook PM inbox. It was rather disturbing. Quite a lot of noise and unintelligible whispering. Then... At right about the end of the sound clip, something spoke. Hello, friend. This honestly frightened me terribly. 
I don't know what came over me, but I suddenly felt the need to be very firm and hostile. We aren't friends, was by sent a few frowny emoticons and went silent. Not long after, his profile picture suddenly changed into a photo of a dark, distorted, grimacing face. I looked at it for a brief moment, but felt sort of drawn to it. It was hypnotic. I started to get a little freaked out, so I closed our conversation, unfriended him, and shut my computer down. That night, when I turned out the lights in my bedroom to go to sleep, I saw Wespe's face, not on the computer, but staring at me in the darkness. It was out of the corner of my eye and only for a split second, but I sure it was there. He was there. Days went by, and I would see Wespe out of the corner of my eye almost everywhere I'd go, especially at night and in darker places. As time went on, I saw him more. I intentionally talked to him over a month ago, and there hasn't been a day that I haven't seen him. Sometimes he'll be there when I wake up in the middle of the night, inches away from my face, grimacing down at me. Like I told you all before, I don't know if I believe in ghosts, but something is following me because of that Facebook account, and while I'm not sure what it is, I know that it is very insecure and jealous. It craves friendship. I've been too afraid to go out and see any of my own friends simply because it's entirely possible this thing might latch to onto them. At times, I want to throw myself off the roof just to get rid of him. Brian Wespe is ruining my life, and I can't blame anyone for it but myself and my stupid curiosity. So I'm here to do you all a favor. In this sentence is a link to Wespe, Wespe's Facebook account. Right-click it, inspect it, copy the URL, and put it into in anything that you can. Keep your browser from going onto it. If there are any of you who are dumb enough to go onto that page, to get a look at this thing, I have to ask you to reconsider. At the very least, do not spend too much time staring at that profile picture. Because whether you like it or not, Brian B. Wespe wants to be your friend. And so far, it looks like his friend, he's a friend you can't get rid of.